When Dr. Martin Luther King was assassinated on April 4th, 1968, I was a senior at Rogers High School in Toledo, a public school having a significant number of African-American students. During my senior year in 1967-68, I was president of the band and did my best to continue the spirit of appreciating everyone as had been the long tradition. In the band, we didn't see each other as white students or black students, but simply as Rogers Ram band members. Our drum major was a tall, thin African-American fellow who could do a majestic back bend and touch the top of his drum major hat to the ground and then leap forward. That was fabulous. Experienced class persons taught freshmen how to march and perform the shows on the football field. I had several black students with me in a squad and we all got along very well. The band needed everyone and we all moved as one, including at lunchtime in the cafeteria at the band tables. However, the societal climate outside of our protected Rogers High School enclave was very different and the long, hot summer of 1967 had most major U.S. cities under race riots, including Toledo. I remember that Martin Luther King was scheduled to make a speech at Scott High School during the summer, but that was postponed to the fall for safety reasons. When he was assassinated in Memphis several months later, I don't remember being too affected since Simplistically, I couldn't understand why racial tension existed. Our band didn't have racial tensions. Why do cities? The band needs everybody. Why don't cities need everybody? Then on June 6th, 1968, the very day of our graduation ceremony from high school, came the news that Bobby Kennedy had died from gunshot wounds during his presidential campaigning in Los Angeles. Couple that with the sad fact that our graduating male classmates not going to college would likely be drafted for Vietnam. We all felt sad and confused. Into what kind of a world were we graduating? <laughs>